Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at some supposed PC gameplay screenshots of Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm kind of going to be breaking them down and letting you guys know that these are 100% fake so these screenshots which i'll put on the screen in a little bit have been circulating the internet over the past few days i've been getting tweets instagram saying mr boss the win what do you think of these leaked screenshots what do you think of the pc screenshots of gta 5 etc etc and whenever something like that happens i always want to make a video and try to clarify things and try to get the story straight because i don't want anyone to be confused or end up downloading anything that could be harmful to their pc or misleading someone or you know etc so we're going to be breaking down these four screenshots screenshots so we're going to be looking at the first one right now which is pretty much the biggest dead giveaway and it's kind of like a photo of michael at the pause menu and you can see that it's on some settings page or some video tab now i will grant this whoever came up with this whoever did this this is a really great and clean photoshop job i do not have these photoshop skills or any expertise but there's a few things in this that are a pretty dead giveaway in terms of why it's actually fake so for starters, it's pretty easy to recreate an image like this. It's basically a blurry background that's used for all the other Grand Theft Auto 5 menu screens. And then you can just gray out the text and use the exact same font that Rockstar uses and then just overlay it onto that grayed out text. Probably the biggest giveaway is that the font doesn't match the actual font that's used in in-game GTA 5 right now. I'm using my PS4 and Xbox One as a comparison, and I'm looking at the two images side by side right now, and I really can't see the fonts matching up. Also, the 16X shouldn't be a 16 capital X, it should be a 16 lowercase X for 16 times. The capital X doesn't make sense, so that's pretty much a dead giveaway that this screenshot is fake. But let's move on to the three other images and we'll kind of break those down as well. So before I get into the other three images, I also want to say that it would be just early for Rockstar to expose the contents of their game so close to their official release of January 27th for the PC. So all of this is just kind of weird, but on top of it, these next three screenshots really kind of just confirm that this isn't going to be the PC version. You can see that the video graphics seem to be super outdated and don't seem to be anywhere near the full HD standard of a remastered version of GTA 5 on the PC. These screen Screenshots look like they're somewhat on the 360 or even a really dumbed down version of the Xbox One or PS4. They don't look high quality at all. And of course, this is something that I would not expect for Rockstar for the PC version of Grand Theft Auto V. And on the gameplay screenshots, another reason to believe that this is fake is there is the absence of a mouse icon on the screen, which you always see a mouse cursor icon on the screen while taking a screenshot while in game on PC versions of games. So this is kind of a dead giveaway. Obviously, the graphics, the lack of a mouse icon, the errors in the uh, video settings screen all kind of give it away that this is fake and has nothing to do with a Rockstar official release screenshots of the PC version of the game. So I just kind of wanted to clear that up for you guys. I'm getting lots of tweets, lots of Instagrams, lots of messages. And of course, these images have been floating around the internet for a while now. And of course, I wanted to clear everything up that this is fake and not from Rockstar game. So again, take everything you see with a grain of salt on the internet unless it is confirmed by Rockstar. You know, we've been burned by people who have given fake information in the past. So you just gotta be careful. But of course, feel free to tweet stuff at this like me. I love getting this information and I love trying to clear things up and kind of dig for information in terms of trying to prove whether things are fake or not real and then trying to explain them to you guys in a video. So hopefully this has cleared the water up for you guys a little bit. Hopefully it's you know set things straight in terms of what's going on in GTA 5 PC. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Also be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way guys like I said thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.